urge for freedom must be so deep because sometimes when we are deeply challenged, we go into prayer and meditation and into the, the offering up of our life in surrender to the truth. You know? when, when pain comes, when uncertainties come, when the feeling of a sense of a threat comes, you know, we do this. But then when the respite comes, when the, when the peace comes, when the, when the fear is gone, we feel very relieved, we feel very happy, we go to sleep. And I'm not saying that we should try and attract fear or attract difficulties. I'm saying don't fix our hearts and minds on luxuries of the world, because they are the sleeping tablet for the seeker. Let it be provided by the Supreme Being, and then you will know a happiness that can never fade. Because the, the joy that comes with the world is short-lived and um, does not truly serve um, if it is only the, the joy that is the joy of the flesh and the joy of, uh, of things, rather than the joy of being. And so the true seeker aspires for what is lasting, what is true, not what is momentary or apparent. And so they develop naturally the discernment to recognize what is untrue, what is only appearing to be true. That power grows within them, and uh, their entire being is is nurtured by that that uh, that yearning for truth, and they are satisfied by it. You know, having wealth and so on, you know, physical, material wealth. Um, does not guarantee you happiness. It may give you pleasure. It may give you also a false sense of security. But it also takes something. You know, because if we are living in too much abundance, you, you become lazy in every direction almost. You become except for trying to preserve, you know, the thing that gives you that sense of um, of uh, security, you don't. You're you're not lazy for that. You'll try and keep that up as much as possible. Don't want to go to that. We don't need to talk about this so much. Just to remind that what is really important to you, you must find. If it is the real happiness that comes with the self, and you are one who has already tasted that, continue to meditate on the isness of being. Continue to to contemplate. The deeper nature of consciousness in its human expression. Continue to to be established in that, so that when the winds of time come and go, the sands of time, you are not swept away. You know, you are never overexcited or depressed by anything that life brings, because you are already clear in your heart and mind that this is the play of ephemerality, of temporality. It is impermanent. You know. And of course, we feel pain because love is here also in this dimension, and even the life of the ego has its part, to, its role to play, to continue to 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 grow and to develop, to learn and so on. You know? But blessed is the one who has found the truth, and whose life demonstrates, and it becomes the evidence of the living truth. Rare is such a one. Um, may you be that one. This one. Bless you. Mm-hmm.